All right, hello everybody. This is Jay Helix again. Continuing on with our pulley upgrade. So last time we pulled off the stock pulley. Now what we need to do is remove the snout so that way uh, we can press on the hub that we got from ADM. So the first thing we're going to need to do here is remove this manifold, the coolant manifold off the supercharger. Once we have that removed, um, I, I can get access to these bolts back here that clamp the snout to the supercharger body. And then underneath, remove those bolts. Uh, once we have those bolts removed, we're going to um, probably have to get a dead blow to, to break the, the seal on this on the uh, on the snout because this is held by uh, RTV gasket so um, once we get that removed then we can go on to the final step which is supporting the shaft from the back and then begin to press the hub onto the shaft so let's go ahead and get started so I just got a 10 millimeter socket here 3 8 ratchet this manifold's held down by it's like four bolts so I'll just begin taking those off they're on there pretty easy I think these are only torqued down to 89 dead simple so you can see there the, the ports for the coolant and there's o-rings inside the uh those ports off as best as I can that way during the install process we don't worry I don't have to worry about anything any gunk falling in there I'm gonna clean off some of the coolant that's on here I'm trying to be careful not to knock any debris in there the granite is probably gonna stick very well because it's probably got residual coolant but we'll try the best that we can all right well that's probably good enough <coughs> So I believe that these are 10 mil here. They are. Start breaking those ones. Looks like there's one, two, three. Looks like there's just three in the bottom. Right, so there's a bolt up here we need to get. There's a bolt here. And there's another one way up here. And it's actually backwards. So instead of the head being on the outside, it's on the inside there. So let's start off with these guys over here. Ha <laughs> 
Flip to the other side. Okay, it looks like there's just the one. Let me bring you over and see that one. It's interesting. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. So that one right there, that's the other one. You can see that the bolt is facing a different direction. Should be all of our bolts. Looks like there's eight of them. Let me just double check again. Okay, looks like we got them all here. Make sure I don't have any ones that are hiding. <clears throat> all right. Now for the fun part. Okay, so I got a, a couple of, got a rubber mallet here. This is a two pound rubber mallet and a three pound dead blow. So we'll, we're gonna try to do this in a safe manner where I'm not going to hit it so hard it's gonna fall on the floor. That would definitely suck. Let me get on this other side here. And I'm basically going to try to support it here and Okay, what I uh, decided to do here was to make it easier myself, so the safest area for me to to hit on this now, it's got the largest surface area for me to hit on, is this piece, this big giant piece here underneath the uh, throttle body uh, port. Um, so I figured, well, you know, it's, I'll just flip it over and make it easier for me to get a good strike. And um, a couple things I discovered when I turn this over and I think it's pretty important to show because it got me a couple times let me uh, get this camera off and I will bring you closer all right so one thing is I thought I got all the bolts out apparently I did not so let me grab this light I don't know if you can see that see that bolt hole right there that is another bolt right inside the throttle port and it's a different color and a different size so this is the bolt here and I believe that was a, I think that was a 12 millimeter so that that definitely needed to come out um, the other thing I did and it's hard to tell because I got it flipped over but and I'll flip this over so you have a better look but I took off the bypass valve because this rod, if you can, you probably can't see it, but we'll, we'll, I'll, sh I'll show you when I flip it back over. But 
this rod that goes all the way into the butterfly plate um, underneath the lid it's you know it's not meant to come out with the snout so the easiest thing to do is just to pull off the bypass valve so that way it's not going to get bent um, as I'm pulling so let me get this camera situated better so you see I'm just trying to break that seal right there and what I decided to do is just switch over to the, the three pound dead blue and uh, keep using that guy to to hit on this. So actually let me back it up because I don't want to knock this thing into the camera. There we go. As you can see there, I'm just split it. So that actually wasn't too bad. Once I got that last bolt out of here inside the throttle body, and uh, I did put a little bit of w or a little bit of uh, brake clean just on the outside here. Probably not needed, but I was hoping it would maybe weaken the, the gasket a little bit. But once got that bolt out of there, just a couple strikes with the uh, the dead blow, and she was all set. Didn't have a uh, probably a, a better tool, but what I'm using here is just a metal trim removal tool. I'm just going to be very, very careful because I don't want to mess up these surfaces. But I'm just want to separate now that the seal's broken pieces from it. You see it. It doesn't take much. Okay. So there we go. That is what we were wanting to do. Came off super simple once I got that bolt out that was right there all right so now the easy part which is just uh so you can see here's the, the shaft it's got the uh sealed bearing inside there that's our one on the outside so what we're going to do is i'm going to put that in the press we want to push against this guy so that way we're, and we want to make it as straight as possible so we don't put any lateral forces on these bearings. But you can see how the butterfly rod just stayed there. Let's set this off to the side. So that was a lot easier than I thought. It looked pretty difficult in some of the other videos. All right, and the other thing I wanted to look at oh, with this thing is the, uh, so in, in a lot of applications that I've seen with these superchargers, the videos, there's a spring in there. And so one of the other reasons why I wanted to pull this snout off, I mean, obviously I need to do it to press on that hub, but was to see if this thing had a uh, spring, and it doesn't look like it does. So I'm, gonna get, I'm not sure if someone's already been in here and replaced it but it looks like a solid uh, solid uh, coupler in there there's no bearing or no uh, spring so I'm not sure if the earlier LT4s came with like that or um, or someone the owner of the of this the previous owner of this went ahead and replaced it <laughs> so that's good I don't have to worry about purchasing one of those if I needed to buy one, I was going to, there's uh, a thing that's called Skull. In one of the other videos I showed, uh, purchasing some supercharger oil for this because we are going to replace the oil. And that company, and we'll show it later, but that company does sell a kit that comes with oil and with a solid coupler there. Um, so that's why I didn't purchase the oil just yet because I wanted to pull this off and see what it was up against. And the other good news, and which makes me think that maybe this wasn't, a uh, an aftermarket coupler is 
turn this guy. Generally what you'll see is on that shaft there'd be grooves cut in, uh, grooves that are even worn in there from that spring. And that also causes rattling that people talk about on different forms, which is one of the main reasons why people, two main reasons why people swap out that coupler. Uh, one being that, you know, wears down, wears into the shaft, you know, causes premature wear, and then the, the noise issue that comes along with it. But it looks like these earlier model LT4s don't, apparently, I guess, didn't come with that spring, because I do not see any wear marks on there. Looks just as good as probably when it came out of the factory, and I doubt if it did have grooves, they went and machined it, because that would be quite a job. You'd have to pull out that shaft, you know, pull out these uh, little pegs there, and machine it down, and then you're risking the, any clearance problems they have with that. So, I guess I got lucky. Alright, so now that we got that moved off, um, removed, we can continue on with the process of uh, putting that thing in a press and getting that uh, hub installed on there and then start putting it back together. So yeah, the big takeaway though is make sure you, if you're doing this, and it might not be the same for all these superchargers, but definitely for me, make sure you uh, check inside this throttle body port here and get that bolt. It's a black bolt so it doesn't, uh, you know, if it's dark, if you don't have good lighting, you're not going to see it very well. But definitely check. I mean, it's pretty obvious there's a big groove profile uh, machine out of there for it to, to, to have the bolt set into. But definitely check that. I was panning on this for a while and, you know, it's a lot, uh, it required more effort than I would have originally thought would need it for just an RP RTV gasket, you know, they don't, they're not stuck on there that bad, you know, like taking off water pumps and stuff, I mean, they're stuck on there, but usually a good couple of hits and it'll come off, so I, that's why I stopped and figured maybe I missed something, and what really helps is when I flipped it over, I was able to, <laughs> just to look in there, because it was right in front of my, my vision, my perfect vision, or right in front of my my nose and that's when I saw it um, so I'm glad I did that otherwise I probably would have been beating on this thing for a long time maybe even breaking something all right so anyways let's uh let's move on to the next step I'll get this set up on the press and we'll start pressing on the hub so let me do that and I'll catch you guys here in a little bit <laughs> 